Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Magic Books, here in partnership with the fabulous Chit Chat Pitter Pat as part of the Learning Together and Starting School Together projects. Now, I am here for, yes, another Storytime Sunday. I hope you've all had a fabulous week this week. I hear you have been moving together. Now that sounds like great fun. Obstacle courses, I think, may have happened. Threading, oh, when you can make necklaces out of anything you can find. And even, I hear there might have been some treasure hunts. Well, well, this book I'm going to share with you today has something of a treasure hunt in it. But the treasure they're hunting for isn't treasure like gold or jewels. No, the treasure they're hunting for is books. Oh, I know. Also, for those of you starting school in September, oh, it's so exciting. This book is a fabulous way to discover how exciting a classroom can be, what fun you can have in a classroom with loads and loads of new friends. So, are you ready? Sit back, make sure you're comfortable, have a cup of tea, maybe a glass of juice, who knows, a glass of water, a glass of milk, Thing. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Detective Dog. There once was a dog with a keen sense of smell. She was known far and wide as Detective Dog Nell. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Can you sniff like Detective Dog Nell? <coughs> nice. Sniff, sniff, sniff. <coughs> Time after time, Nell the detective solved crime after crime. Who threw the hazelnuts down from the trees? Hmm, shall we have a look? <gasps> Cheeky squirrels. And who took the honey away from the bees? Shall we see? What a cheeky mouse. Who did a poo on the new gravel path? Shall we see if Detective Dog Nell discovered? Uh-oh, what a naughty pussycat. And how did the spider get into the bath? Oh, a mystery. Sniff, 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 ready? With a wag of her tail, Nell the detective was hot on the trail. Nell shared her house with a person called Peter, a very nice child, although he could have been neater. And six-year-old Peter was one of those boys who kept on mislaying his clothes and his toys. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ready? <laughs> Nose to the ground. These are the things the detective dog found. The bus in the bowl. Really? And the book in the bed. I've done that one. The sock in the sofa and the shoe in the shed. Really? The tumble down teddy, the bounce away ball. Nell the detective discovered them all. Now, Nell did detection from Tuesday till Sunday, but did something totally different each Monday. She found Peter's bag and she tracked down her lead, then set off for school, where she heard children read. The children loved reading their stories to Nell, and Nell loved to listen and also to smell. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ready? <laughs> Mixed in the air were plasticine, custard and newly washed hair. The crusts in the bins and the coats on the hooks. But the best smell of all was the smell of the books. Shall we see Peter's classroom? Oh, it does look brilliant. Look at that. So much to do. There. Doesn't that look exciting? Now. There were books about dinosaurs, books about knights, books about planets and meteorites, books about princes who turned into frogs, ribbit, ribbit. books about dragons and books about dogs. But then came a Monday when all was not well. Nell sniffed the air, ready, 
and she smelled the wrong smell. Mm. Into the classroom, the two of them hurried and found Mr Jones, the teacher, looking terribly worried. He tugged at his hair, oh, and he let out a sigh. Oh, Peter looked round and oh, he started to cry. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ready? What was going on? The books, cried out Peter. The books have all gone. Oh, no, look. No books in the classroom. Uh-oh. Nell gave a growl when she heard the bad news, but then started sniffing and searching for clues. Sniff, sniff, sniff. <gasps> On the bookshelf, a cap. The thief must have dropped it, the terrible chap. <gasps> Nell sniffed the cap, then she tugged on the lead, and ruff, she was off at astonishing speed. Everyone followed Detective Dog Nell. Shall we see? <gasps> there she goes. All the children and Mr Jones, the teacher, all following her. She stopped at the traffic lights. Mm, what could she smell? Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ready? <laughs> Haddock and hay. Pizza and penguins. And further away, the smell of the thief. And oh, how very exciting. Thousands of pages all covered in writing. Then, woof! They were off with no time for a stop past the farm. That's the thing. That's the hay. And the zoo. That must be the penguin smell. And the takeaway shop. That must be the pizza. They raced through a field. Oh, where the rabbit smelled good. Then over a golf course and into a wood. They thrashed through the undergrowth, leafy and dense, till they came to a gate in an old wooden fence. Then Nell started growling. Can you do a dog growl? <sighs> and pricked up an ear. She barked. Ruff, ruff. And the bark meant, the thief is in here. They flung the gate open and Peter cried, look! For there sat a man with a nose, with his nose in a book. There were many more books poking out of a sack and the children yelled, those are our books. Give them back. Shall we see? There he is, with all the children's books from their classroom. Oh dear. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ready? The book thief looked sad. I'm sorry, he sniffled. I know I've been bad. Stealing is wrong, but I just meant to borrow. I was planning to give all the books back tomorrow. To borrow. To borrow. <gasps> Nell pricked up an ear. She barked. Ruff! And the bark meant, I've had an idea. What could it be? Then, woof, she was off. And away they all spud, sped, including the book thief, who told them, I'm Ted. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Ready? <laughs> they raced through the wood and over the field, where the rabbits smelled good. They panted and puffed past the takeaway shop, the zoo and the farmyard with never a stop, except to retrieve Peter's scarf and his ball, which someone had thoughtfully placed on a wall, till they came to a building with doors open wide. And what did they see when they all went inside? What do you think? <sighs> Look at that! Thousands of books from the floor to the ceiling. The books gave the thief the most heavenly feeling. He gazed in amazement. Where am I? he said. And Peter replied, In the library, Ted. You can join if you want to. There isn't a fee. And then you can take lots of books out for free. So, Ted has a lovely new library card and he sits reading books in his little backyard. Shall we see? Oh, Ted and his cat looking very comfy. And when it's a Monday, Detective Dog Nell visits the school with the wonderful smell. Sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> with a faraway look, she smells and she listens to book after book. Books about dinosaurs, books about knights, books about planets and meteorites, books about princes who turn into frogs, books about dragons and books about dogs. 
all the old books and a new one as well. The story of daring detective dog Nell. There she is in the classroom with Peter with her own book they've made. And that is the end of today's story, The Detective Dog for Storytime Sunday. Love that book. I think Nell is brilliant, don't you? Shall we do her sniff one more time? Ready? Sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> brilliant. Well done. Thank you so much for listening to Storytime Sunday with me, Lottie, from Magic Box. Thank you also for joining in. I hope you enjoyed it. A good end to Moving Together Week. And I will be back next week for another Wake Up Wednesday and another Storytime Sunday. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a lovely few days and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.